Last year I picked up a short contract working for a technology company here in Amsterdam, which meant I needed to figure out how I was going to get to work. This company was in Amsterdam Nord, and I was living in Amsterdam Zoud at the time, so it was not that close. About 9 kilometers, which is pretty far for trips within Amsterdam. I've mentioned it before, but I love how the Netherlands provides you with options for getting around. Unlike where I grew up, where a car is the only viable method of transportation for almost every trip, Amsterdam provides you with choice. And this commute was an excellent example of that. It would have been possible to drive, of course, but with traffic it would have been anywhere from 30 to 50 minutes. Plus, I would need to arrange a parking spot. And besides, I really hate driving in traffic. This is Amsterdam, so cycling was a possibility as well. But 9 kilometers is a long bicycle commute. Reasonable for an e-bike, maybe, but still a bit long. Door-to-door -door would have been about 35 minutes, including a ferry ride. And of course, there's the option of public transport. But with the walk to and from the metro, the door-to-door -door trip would be almost 45 minutes, almost exactly equivalent to the worst-case car commute. Note that anybody who watched my video on the Downs-Thompson paradox won't be surprised by that. Public transport, especially trains with their own right-of-way, can be a really quick way to go long distances. But it can be inconvenient if your starting point or destination aren't that close to a station. Urban planners call this the last mile problem. A bicycle is a great point-to-point -point transportation method that can be faster than driving because you never get stuck in traffic and it's easy to park. But there's only so far you can reasonably go on a regular bicycle, so most people's cycling commutes are 5 kilometers or less. But here in the Netherlands there's another option that's not often available in other countries, the ability to very easily combine a bicycle commute with a train or metro commute. And that made it the obvious choice for me to get to work for this contract. There was just one slight catch. While I was fine to cycle to my local metro station, I also needed a bicycle to get to and from the office on the other side. And since you aren't allowed to take a regular bicycle on the train or metro in rush hour, I had to have a second bicycle I could leave locked up in Amsterdam Nord. Since this was going to be a short-term contract, only about three months in total, it was the perfect opportunity to try Swap Feats. In case you're not aware, Swap Feats is a lease bike company Instead of purchasing a bicycle, you lease it per month, and Swap Feats will take care of any maintenance and provide theft insurance. The minimum lease time is three months, which was perfect for my needs. I'll do a future video about my experience with Swap Feats, but suffice it to say it worked pretty well for this commute. Leaving your bicycle locked up at the train station is quite common in the Netherlands, but I've actually done it once before in another country. When I was working in Cambridge in the United Kingdom, I used to take the train to the city and leave my bicycle locked up by the station to ride the last three kilometers into work. This worked great until one time I got a little too drunk at the pub after work, took my bicycle on the train instead of locking it up, and then forgot I did that and left it on the train. But I digress. Please do not leave your luggage unattended on the station. In the end, my commute to Amsterdam Nord was about 30 minutes, door to door, the fastest available option. Here's how it worked. I took our regular old Olmafietz and rode it just under five minutes to Amsterdam Zoud, our closest station. This was really convenient because the beautiful new bicycle parking garage at Stravinskylan had just opened, making it really easy to lock up my bike at the station. Then it was just a short walk to the platform to catch the M52 Metro. The M52 is Amsterdam's newest metro line, and the first metro to connect to Amsterdam Nord, which was obviously very convenient for this commute. I rode the M52 six stops, about 14 minutes, to Norderpark Station. From there I just had to... Uh... Where did I park my swap feeds? Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Unlock it and ride the last five minutes into the office. I hadn't spent a lot of time in Amsterdam Nord, so I was really surprised how easy it was to ride there. From the metro station, I had this really nice two-way feeds pad, separated from the road by a hedge. This connected to an excellent example of a modern Dutch roundabout with separated bicycle paths and priority for cyclists. Then, there was a short distance on a typical Dutch feeds pad, and the rest of the trip was through this beautiful park. 
and of course, it was easy to park my bicycle once I got to the office. The trip home was similar. It's just a five minute ride back to the metro station. Then, the hardest part, which was trying to find a good parking spot for the swap feeds. Then a ride on the M52 back to Amsterdam Zoud. Pick up the bicycle from the parking garage. And ride home. All in all, this was a really nice way to get to work. But it was only possible because of the things that Dutch cities do to make transfer from bicycle to public transport as easy and convenient as possible. It's one more thing I really like about the Netherlands. Because this... is so much better than driving in traffic.